and the former two-term governor is here live in our studio this morning along with Jackie for his post-primary day perspective. I know, bright and early first thing after election day. You're a trooper for being here at 6 in the morning. Thank no you problem. again. So how do you feel about Cynthia Dill and Charlie Summers winning last night? Well, I, I think it, it, it certainly clarifies things. We now know, you know who, who the opponents are and uh, they're both able people and I think we're going to have a good vigorous debate and that's what the whole uh, process is supposed to be all about. Over the past uh, several months, uh, this campaign, as well as the other campaigns, have filed with the, the Federal Election Commission uh, a series of detailed uh, financial reports. This is based upon federal law going back to 1907. The essence of this is amounts have to be reported and identification of donors have to be reported. All this changed about two years ago with the decision of the United States Supreme Court that's characterized as the Citizens United case. The result over the past two years has been a tidal wave, a tidal wave of money, mostly anonymous, flowing into campaigns across the United States. So this morning, I have sent a letter to uh, all of the other candidates proposing that we enter into a similar agreement to that which has been agreed upon uh, uh, in Massachusetts, where Elizabeth Warren and Scott Brown, in a hotly contested, vigorously hard-fought campaign for the United States Senate, made an agreement that appears to be holding thus far, that they are going to disavow and actively discourage so-called third-party or independent expenditures in their campaign for the United States Senate. Yesterday, I had a press conference talking about Citizens United and tried to make an effort to keep the anonymous, you know, big money, third party, unaccountable money out of Maine. But after it was over, one of the reporters said, well, you're talking about politics and shouldn't you be talking about policy? And I said, no, no, this is policy. This is policy the unaccountable money and the fact that our Senate and our Congress doesn't work. We could have the world's best health care plan, we could all sit around a table and work it out, but if the Senate doesn't work, it doesn't go anywhere. People are going to say, oh, you can't do anything, they're all Republicans and Democrats, they won't talk to you, they won't cooperate, you'll never get anything done. Well, I see people here who remember in 94 when they said exactly the same thing. Well, it did work. Why did it work? Because we were civil because we listened, because we brought people together. I just feel the Democrat Party has left me rather than me leaving the Democrat Party. Mm -hmm. So I want to see somebody go down there and change.